All right, in this video, we are going to be constructing a PDM network diagram when given a table of dependencies. So that's this guy. This is our table of dependencies. And if you watched the previous video, you know what a network diagram is now. Um, the PDM network diagram is basically just a flow chart that shows, you know, uh, the relationships between the activities. So we'll, draw, we'll start off with drawing a rough draft. We know that A, activity A comes first because there's no predecessor. So it's the first activity in the whole project. Activities B and C both depend on A. So we're going to draw the arrows coming off of A, one going to B, and another one going to C. Activity D depends on B. So activity D can start when B finishes. So we'll go ahead and we'll draw D depending strictly on B. Uh, now activities E and F both depend on C. So we have activity E and activity F. Uh, activity G depends on D and E. So once D and E are both done, then we can start activity G. And then activity H, which is the, apparently the last activity in our project, uh, can start once F and G are both done. So F and G. And we'll go like that. Uh, and we will have activity H. So there we go. This is our rough draft of our PDM network diagram, you know, it's just a flow chart with letters and arrows. Uh, but in order to do this properly, we will need to, um, uh, to change the nodes here. Instead of just being arrows, we will be using these little squares that we used in the previous video, uh, because we will have to have more information in them than just the letter and the name of the activity. So we'll be using in this video the two middle squares. We'll put uh, the activity name in the top middle and the duration in the bottom middle square and then in future videos we'll be using these other four squares uh, but not yet just uh, we're just still basically introducing what the PDM network diagram is so all we do is we'll just redraw this rough draft with uh, with these little square grids on our nodes and there we go this is our for now completed PDM network diagram for the project um, so you can see we just have the activity name and the activity duration and it has all the same logic here uh, predecessors as our rough draft here and you can check to see if any of these are correct for example let's inspect node g here uh, the predecessors for g are d and e so d and e and then the only thing that's coming off of g the only thing that depends on g is h so we're going to check out h here yeah h definitely does depend on g uh, and f for that matter but yeah we're good it looks like we've done this correctly all right, I will see you in the next video, and we will do this backwards. We'll start with the, the PDM network diagram and finish with, and be able to generate the table of dependencies here. And then after that, we'll start filling in these other squares in future videos.